Four years ago, Chris Watts murdered his pregnant wife and two young daughters. That tragedy drawing international attention to Frederick, Colorado, and this terrible crime. Since then, conspiracy theorists have taken to the Internet, creating fake and concerning alternative motives to what happened. It's all about NK. And who could eliminate NK from the case? Law enforcement. So that's why I blame law enforcement, because they can free her. The torture the Ruseks are going through is because the police didn't do their job. In the nearly four years since the tragic murders, those who lived the nightmare that captivated the world say their heartache has only gotten worse, all because of YouTube and the conspiracy theorists who profit off of clicks. This CBS 4 in Denver is exactly where the inciting comes from for people who are uncovering the truth in the Chris Watts case. Chris Watts had help, everyone. He did not act alone. Since their daughter, Shanann, and her children were murdered, the Rusiks have not only had to cope with the loss, but also with repetitive attacks from conspiracy theorists who think Chris Watts' confession was all part of a giant cover-up. I have nothing to say about the research. My concentration is on the, the case that is obviously a cover-up, guys. Since 2018, the Rusiks have been the victims of conspiracy theories, all by YouTubers around the world infatuated with the case. You did right that they were well insured. Some have suggested Frank paid for his family to be killed in order to claim insurance money, or that his wife participated in the crimes. What did you know at 8 o'clock that Chris didn't know? Others have even threatened their lives. The parents don't want me making conspiracy theories? Then I'm going into you patron with it. I don't think I'm going to stop talking about it. So I talk about it even more in patron now, and I can be more candid because it's a private platform. Yeah, I will be on patron later where we'll talk about the what's case to the cows come on. Of course, they still say, well, he's still talking about it on patron. Yes, in a private place, away from hurting the family. The only way we can hurt the family now is if they follow me into Patreon. Some people are so disingenuous and, and, and so dishonest that they're willing to go on platforms such as a CBS and, and, and say, we just want people to stop talking about it. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I cannot talk about the what's case on here, YouTube. I promise not to. As I was trying to explain on YouTube, I can't really do the what's on YouTube anymore. The, the, the vocal minority are killing off the vast majority that want to hear about it. I can... But I can't say it to you, my loyal, my loyal subs. I can't say it to you because I've been stopped. I don't remember having to ask um, John Vanette Ramsey's dad if I'm allowed to speak about the case. Did I? No. I don't go and say, Mr. Mr. McCann, is it okay if I make a film about the uh, McCann case? My clock on this case has stopped as of the other night. I refuse to cover the case anymore, other than my patron, my private group where I can talk amongst friends and we can debate 
whatever case we want. I'm not going to bring it onto a public platform and be abused by hundreds of trolls flying into my chat, upsetting my spanners. It's just not worth it. Oh, if they just want to listen, that's fine. If they want to walk out the frigging door, then get out the door and leave me alone and leave us alone. 55,000 of us do not believe Christopher Watts acted alone. 55,000 do not believe Christopher Watts acted alone. I believe Chris had help. And so did many millions of others. 25 million people asked me not to stop. Are you much more important than those 25 million? And I'm so sad that the family are mad with me, but there's not much I can do about it. Is there? What do you want me to do? Stop? I, I am not going to stop. I don't care how many things they try to do to me. I'm not going to stop. To the people who feel they are entitled to profit off our loss, we urge you, please stop. And for the people who are interested in this case, who feel compelled to comment and discuss, please stick, stick to the truth. They want us to stop talking about the case. So what does he do? Gets interviewed by CBS. So we can talk about the case. Seriously? Give me a break. After Frank went on there and told lies about all us creators to get more sympathy and dollars, we just want everybody to stop talking about it. We just want you to stop talking about it. No, you don't. You want us to talk about it. And then you want to have a reason to get angry when we talk about it, to build hatred and sympathy from your supporters. And you are just making up lies and bullshit. Want me to stop there? Do you want me to stop? Tell me. Do you want me to stop? I will. If you guys who I trust, you're my peers, you want me to stop doing the case, tell me. I will. To the people who feel they are entitled to profit off our loss, we urge you, please stop. And for the people who are interested in this case who feel compelled to comment and discuss, please stick stick to the truth. It is painful enough for us to just dealing with the reality, reading the insane conspiracy theories, ugly false rumors and lies only make it more painful. Only true factual evidence would be put on my channel from now on. I will do what the Rusex said. We don't mind you talking about the case. We just don't want conspiracies. So from now on, my mission statement is, after listening to that policeman on CBS, he's right. He's right. We've got to be credible. We're not fools here, I'm sure detective. A team alone. We're not fools. The drama just never ends. It never, never, never ends. That they don't have any empathy, they don't have no heart, they don't have nothing. To go out there and just destroy our family is not the thing to do. The case is done. It's the cover up we're on to now, guys. It's the cover up and the accomplices. So these crazy people should stop. They have to put an end to anybody that's different than them. 
But at the same time, you have to realize how sad and pathetic they are, and you have to have mercy on them. It needs to stop. You need to stop. You're living off this case only, and it's three years old. That is disgusting. Scumbags. And we're going to shine that light on bad behavior. We're going to shine that light on immoral, bankrupt people. Immorally bankrupt people. We're going to shine that light on them, whether they like it or not.